Hello guys and welcome to Kitchen Colony. On this channel, I'll be bringing to you a taste of Jamaican inspired meals with a twist to suit every palate. Let us make some finger licking hot and spicy garlic butter wings. Before we move on, let me just take this time to thank my subscribers, old and new, and also my viewers. Thank you for coming back faithfully every week. Now today I've decided to make some finger foods, and one of the items on the platter would be wings. So I've decided to make it very crispy, very spicy, and very garlicky. Now if you'd like to see me do this, then follow on. I have some washed and um, washed and dried chicken wings and I'm going to slightly season it. In my bowl I have some black pepper, garlic powder, um, some dried savory seasoning which is roasted and crushed and here we have some all purpose seasoning. Usually we blend everything together and now you may use whatever you like but because I'm going to be coating the chicken and if this coating is already seasoned I'm not adding too much here. I'll be using this um, seasoning mix on my chicken. I'm going to transfer some. I don't want a lot of the um, coating on the chicken, lightly coated. So I'm going to use about half. Now I'm going to add some oil to the pot. I'm going to slightly fry in the pan and then I'm going to transfer it to the air fryer to finish cook. I do this because when you use the air fryer and coating with chicken, it tends not to fry, you know. So I, I start it off in here and finish it in the air fryer. Now to fry our chicken. Now we're going to coat it. Starting off here just for about two minutes on each side and then we transfer to the air fryer. Process for us. Next two minutes, we transfer this to the air fryer. The coating didn't cause the wings to go soggy, it maintained its crispiness. Now it's time to transfer them to the air fryer. I'm going to take it out. Now, line my air fryer with the foil so that when it's time to clean, it's easier for me. So now I'm removing my chicken pieces and let them finish in the air fryer. This will allow them to be very crispy and the coating on the chicken would have, you know, would be on the chicken is good. on this tray because I don't want them to go saggy. I want them to maintain the Christmas. Right. So I'm putting them on this tray. The next. 
So in tomato sauce, and we're going to use some garlic butter, or you can just use butter and crush some garlic. So I'm going to start my sauce now. My chicken is still cooking in the um, air fryer, so you can hear the noise in the background. So I'm making the sauce while that is being done. And to this, I'm going to add a little bit more garlic, because I want a little more garlic taste. You don't have to. And just a, taste, a pinch of oil, half a teaspoon of ginger. Just a little bit. To add some hot sauce, spicy chili sauce. I'm going to add a good amount. My son will fry because it's going to be too peppery, but add up the amount you like. I'm going to add a pinch of salt, yeah? Just a pinch. I'm going to add a little West Indian style pepper sauce just to get that taste, Caribbean taste. Whoops! Oh my lord! This is about it. We're gonna coat the chicken as soon as it is finished. Here we are. The chicken is all finished and crispy. Now we're gonna transfer it to the bowl. And we're gonna add our sauce. hot and spicy way. It was just the way I wanted it. Crispy, garlicky and spicy. Now if you're gonna have it on its own, crispy is the way to go. But if you're going to have it with maybe potato or rice or whatever, then I'd advise you not to make it this crispy. But finger food, this is the way to go. Crispy and crunchy. It was delicious. Finger licking, as I said, it was finger licking. If you've enjoyed what you've just watched then please give me a thumbs up share my videos and if you have not yet subscribed please remember to do so i do enjoy making these videos for you and i do appreciate your comments thank you all for watching see you next time bye bye